Hey guys, this is Logan with MGM. Today we are out trying out the new Winchester 350 Legend. So, I just did a 100 yard zero check with this thing. We also shot some over the chronograph on our magneto speed. I'll definitely be sure to include the footage of that. Give you guys the velocities for the 147 grain full metal jacket as well as the 180 grain soft points. So, at 100 yards I hit here and then I aimed here after that. And apparently I was hitting about 3 MOA high. Um, so I made that adjustment and then I shot the 180 grains up here. So in the center here, I've got four shots right here. Got a little measuring card in here. Those came out to about an inch and a quarter. So pretty good for a straight wall cartridge right there. And then up here, the 180 grain, the whole group is about two inches. However, three of the shots went into three quarters of an inch. And uh, this isn't an absolute perfect representation of the the accuracy of this cartridge but that was what I was able to get out here this morning just kind of getting things zeroed in and ready to go so from this point on we're gonna start shooting farther out and give you guys the ballistic drops for this cartridge at 200 250 and 300 yards let's get to it all right guys we're out here at the 200 yard line I've got my full-size ipsic sitting up there and we're gonna take the first shots with the 147 grain full metal jacket I believe that these are more of the uh, affordable shooting rounds, so we're going to go ahead and give these a try. And looking at the ballistic info on the box, the velocities match up pretty well with what I got. Um, what's interesting is they recommend 150 yard zero, but I just put 100 yard zero on the gun. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of math here, but at 200 yards, it looks like I'm going to have to hold about 2.5 MOA, which is about 7 inches of drop. So let's try 2.5 MOA hold and see what that puts us in real life. So this is a Thompson Center Encore, and this has got a 22 inch 350 Legend barrel. And I believe it is a one in 16 twist. So here at Match Grade Machine, that's what we do. We manufacture the barrels for Thompson Center Encores, Contenders, and G2s. Let's give it a try here. All right. So it's looking like from my 100 yard zero, it's closer to five MOA of drop. All right, so what we're gonna do is move on to 250 yards. I'm just gonna keep using this ammo and then I'll switch to the 180 grain soft points after I go and respray all my targets so we can see each group as we go. Looks like 7 MOA put us right in the middle of that target for 250 yards. Alright guys, ready for the 300 yard target. I've dialed 10 into the scope for this one. We shall see where we end up. Yes, 10 MOA seems to be the perfect amount of elevation for this distance. So that would be 30 inches, about 31 inches of drop out here. All right, guys, let's go take a look at our targets at each range and see how we did. Okay guys, now we're starting with the 180 grain soft points from Winchester and we're going to shoot them at 200, 250, and 300 yards. So I'm going to drop it back down to five. I think they're hitting really similar. Awesome, looking great. So at this point, let's try the same drop for the next target. So that put us five MOA at 200, which is about 10 inches of drop. Now we're going to, I've dialed seven for 250. Right in the middle, perfect. So far, so good, guys. Looks like these 180s track right on par with the 147s. 
Now for 300, let's try 10 MOA. There we go, right in the middle. Well, there we have it, guys. I'll throw some pictures up on the screen and see how we did. Well, all right, guys, that was the 350 Legend at 100, 200, 250, and 300 yards. Be sure to let us know what you guys think in the comments. We'll be sure to be watching those, and we'll be responding as well. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe to the Match Grade Machine YouTube channel as we are going to be going out and doing more tests like this. Uh, what do you guys want us to try with the new 350 Legend or maybe some other cartridges? Do we, should we try shooting this farther out, or should we compare it against something else? Let us know what you think in the comments. We greatly appreciate it. We'll catch you guys in the next video.